Welcome back, YouTube. I'm Edwin. And I'm Joseph. And this is Edwin, Edwin and Joseph, Joseph Talks. Talks. So, today's going to be kind of like a second second alien video for the week. Yeah. Um, but it deals not with the extraterrestrials, but with the MIB. Then, for those that maybe not have seen that movie, Men in Black, but we're talking about a real version of them. Yeah, not Will Smith and Tom Lee Jones. It's like legit a government group of people dressed in black that go around and they don't they don't flash you, they silence you. <laughs> like nine times out of ten it's usually a threat to like stop what you're doing. So or let's you get disappear. <laughs> or you disappear. So let's get into uh we kind of both know a few different things about yeah. it. Um, well, I can tell you kind of what I know is uh, there's this thing called Project Blue Book. I don't know if you're going to talk about that or not. I'm not really going to no, go no, into know. that. Uh, that's the first time I was I kind of heard about him was mentioning Project Blue Book. And I want to say that, and it, this might not be Project Blue Book, but that there was an agreement between uh, the United States government and um, an alien group that we got to keep the alien remains that we found and do testing on them, and they got to every once in a while come and pick humans to do testing on us. Like okay, it was a yeah, agreement. Yeah. It was like a, uh, almost like a bargaining thing. Yeah, and every once in a while, you'll hear of reports about, you'll see um, somewhere out like in the desert or something, you'll see alien craft, and usually a couple people in black walk up, talk to them, and then they both leave. That's, that's about it. That's Yeah, I, see, and then I've like, so every time I've heard about the men in black and their appearance, it's always been the same thing. They don't have any hair and they don't have like any kind of facial hair or eyebrows. They're just bald completely and they're pale white, like like light, light, light. Powder. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's call it powder. <laughs> so, um, you know, and, and a lot of the stories that deal with them are hostile. Like they, they don't come and just nicely ask you like, hey, you know, can you stop? No, they threaten you, dude. Like, they, they come to you, they'll threaten your family, they'll threaten you, whatever they need to to get your point, or their point across that, hey, don't talk about this. Mm -hmm. So, there was two stories I was actually looking up, and I'm not going to read them, I'm just going to kind of skim through it and, and word it myself. But uh, there was a guy in Maine who was working on a UFO case and, and just trying to research, you know, UFOs in general. Um, his name was Dr. Herbert Hopkins. And one night, he had got a call from somebody saying that they were an alien activist wanting to add to his, you know, research or whatever. Well, this guy comes over, and it's exactly what I just explained. Just pale, no hair, no facial hair, dressed in a black suit with a black tie. Uh, so the guy answers, you know, Dr. Herbert answers the door. And as soon as the guy walks in, the doctor's dog just starts erratically, like, just barking dude like non-stop uncontrollable barking and so the guy and the doctor and the the man in black sit down at the table and the guy starts questioning him about what he knows about ufos and this and that and after they're done you know after the guy's done interviewing him he he tells him like hey you got two coins in your pocket and that ended up being true. The, the doctor had two coins in his pocket. So the guy asked him to remove one. So the doctor takes out, and it was a penny, brand new penny, and holds it out like this. And the, the man in black told him, like, you know, concentrate on the penny. Like, just keep your eye on it. And the doctor said that it started, like, turning silver. And then it started, like, vibrating. And then it faded until eventually it was gone. It disappeared. And... The guy looked at him and was like, that penny no longer exists on this plane. It's not on this earth. It's gone. Done. And then the guy started questioning him about Barney Hill. Remember we covered their mm -hmm. story? Yeah. Okay. So 
the guy the the guy asked the doctor like you've heard of Barney Hill right and the guy was like yeah you know but he just died like not too long ago and the man in black told him like yeah he was like he died he was like and he didn't have a heart just that his heart was gone just like that penny was gone and pretty much told the doctor like hey you need to stop what you're doing don't do no more research don't put any of this out and just took off hmm. now there is one more story and this one might be a little hard to believe or whatever well, but actually before we go sure. like the dog barking like that that makes me wonder is is these people an alien itself well i've heard that or, or could they be like a hybrid that makes more sense but i've heard that they like people who have told stories about them i've heard that they look human, but they have features that don't really belong to like humans. Like the way their their face, their facial structures built, the way their hands and stuff look, like they don't ever one hundred percent look human. Mm. And there's been a lot of speculation that they are either extraterrestrial or, like you mentioned, a hybrid of what. Because I mean, what person do you know if if it's true can make a penny just disappear by looking at it? You know, that would sound like something out of this world, mm -hmm. literally. So whether or not they're alien or hybrid of it, I don't know, but it would make sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, now, before we get to more questions, there is one more story I have, and it involves Dan Aykroyd, the Ghostbuster, mm -hmm. um, where he was working. He, I don't know if you remember, he used to have a paranormal show where he used to talk about, like, just weird paranormal stuff. Um, can't I remember the name of it. No? You didn't? Dan Aykroyd did? Yeah, dude, he had a paranormal show. I'll look it up, I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what it is. But um, he had a show where he talked about, like, paranormal things. And... I'll, I'll look it up while you're telling me. Okay. I want to know this. And while... Uh, one, one day while he was filming, he stopped to take a smoke break. And he walked outside the studio... Went to have a smoke break, and he was on the phone with Britney Spears. I know that's kind of a weird twist to me. <laughs> but uh, Britney Spears was actually doing Saturday Night Live, and she had called to talk to him about, hey, you know, do you want to come on the show with me and stuff? Well, while he was doing that, while he was outside smoking and talking to her, he noticed a black car pull up. And the car just stopped, and he saw a guy in black come out of the, the car. Same thing, black suit, black tie. So he comes out, and Dan Aykroyd looks at him and turns around. And, like, trying to figure out if what he saw was real or not, he just kind of, like, sat there, kept talking on the phone. Well, then he turned around, and when he turned around, the guy was gone. Like, the car was still there, but the dude was gone. So he ends up going inside, and when he gets inside, he's told that his show is canceled and not to be doing it anymore. That there's nothing left for him to talk about. The show's done. He's over Side it. Side factor? That might be it. Chronicles of the Paranormal. Yeah, that has to be it. Hmm. Um, check it out, though. It's, it's, yeah, it was his show. He hosted it. But it got canceled right after that guy. And the thing is, is like the guy wasn't inside the building or nothing. He just stepped in and he was told that his show was canceled and there's nothing he can do about it. And that was like his, and a lot of people were kind of like speculated about it, but he has been, uh, he has mentioned in interviews that he knows what he saw, he knows what went down, you know, pretty much trying to legitimize his story of it. Did it, no reason why? No, he didn't get a reason. He was just told that his show is canceled and he's not to do it anymore. Um, There was, there was a video that surfaced on YouTube where, um, and you would just have to type it in, like type in Men in Black, and it's like one of the first videos that usually pop up. But it's like this lady, she works in, a, I wanted to say it was like a car rental place or something, but she was like one of the receptionists at the desk. And she was sitting there, and you see a guy in a black suit, black tie, and a black hat. He walks in. You can't really make out his face or anything. That's the weird part. And he looks really like... It looked like a light bulb dressed in his suit. That's how bright he was. Like the whiteness of his skin and everything. 
and there's no audio to it but you can see him he like walks up he talks to the lady and leaves and the lady's like kind of frantic and just walks away from like the desk hmm. well, I'm reading about the show yeah, right you're now. Legit looking it up, dude. but the the weird thing about I'm just going to the show they they don't claim for it to be like true though it's it's saying that it's based a Canadian science fiction drama television series. Like they they based it around true events, but it wasn't necessarily true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it says eighty episodes. Um, Peter Ackroyd, which I'm gonna guess is related like to Dan Ackroyd, was one of the producers. From 1996 to 2000. Hmm. That's weird. I wonder what they would have had to have talked about and shown that. Yeah, see, right here he doesn't talk about it. It talks about the guy. He came out of a black Ford. Um, of course it was a black Ford. <laughs> tall guy dressed all in black. The facial features the same thing. And then it says after he finished his phone call... He returned to the studio to learn that his show had been canceled and he was ordered to stop filming immediately. That's all it says about it, dude. It doesn't say what the subject that he was getting ready to film was about. It doesn't say what he was talking about. It just says that he walked back inside from a smoke break and he was told that the show is done and he's not to film anything. So, I mean, so so the movies kind of just, like, they show the men in black as guys who run around catching aliens and you know they wipe your memory but then you hear about you know what's the real men in black and it's like a whole different aspect of it like they're out here threatening you and they're out here it's almost like the the people that you see how they're all white without hair and stuff humanoid but close enough to where well, I mean, if we were talking about humanoid and hybrids, pale, white skin, you know, smooth, it sounds like, I mean, like test tube babies, like, it's just something they created. Because to be mm-hmm. hairless like that, unless you... Honestly, uh, no no offense to Christian base or anything, almost sounds like what you would perceive. If you were to see him not in a black suit, almost what you perceive is maybe like a hairless angel. Well, I mean, the, the I don't want to say glow, like but, that, you yeah. know, like the skin composure, that kind of makes sense. That's why, it, that, that's why it just comes to my my mind, is like something like that where, um, or even like back in the day when you, you had accounts of gods sleeping with mortals. Like their offspring? Yeah, which, I mean, if you look in many religions, you have, you know, giants and stuff like that which I'm not going to bring up any certain religion it's in a ton of different religions uh, they mentioned people that were enough humanoid to where they thought they were just gods they weren't humans they were gods so I'm wondering if but then what would explain like, would, like I mean if that was the case and that's kind of what they might be what would explain, because nine times out of ten when I hear about them or I hear stories about them, it always goes to a UFO. Like, it always well, has to do with some kind of alien thing. I mean, that would kind of make sense. They, they they probably don't want people to know the truth for whatever reason. Um, I mean, we've talked about just the different reasons why government would want not want the human population to, to know, know about it but know. then like if these people like i'm not saying they are i'm just saying like what if they are some kind of angel human hybrid and it's they come from the heavens maybe just trying to protect us somehow yeah and they're we're we're getting to a point where we're about to figure it out and they're like no you that, gotta stop i think we figured it out i think it's just I, other people I mean, have to too, come to the but, realization um but their their whole i think probably main job is to make sure like this can't be exposed. Because you imagine, okay, you take a major religion. It doesn't matter which one. And they're all built based upon a faith of 
I believe that this is to be true. And then all of a sudden you have an alien entity that comes down that matches what that describes. And they say, you can now not talk about this. They're probably trying to keep it to where our knowledge is not going to expand what they want us to know. That makes sense. That's, I mean, that's, I'm not saying this is what is going on. All I'm saying is that's the first thing that pops into my mind um, and, and thought on it. So let's and talk about one know. other thing. So yeah, sure. how weird is it that, you know, what? I think it was like 95 or 6 when the first movie came out and you have these movies of men in black going around fighting aliens and this and that and I mean technically keeping the truth away from the people as well because you know they brainwash or not mm-hmm. brainwashing but they wipe their minds out and then all of a sudden there's reports of like actual men in black like do you think that's just a weird coincidence or do you think like well most likely the the people that made the movie had probably heard reports of a man in black. Man in black. Um, of course, they took it, whether it be one person writing it or like, you know, friends writing it or whatever. I, I don't know who wrote it. But the original person wrote it off an idea. Right. And the idea was, you know, that we have these people that work for a government that keep the knowledge of aliens behind us for whatever reason. And back then it would be hearsay because so, the internet wasn't as big. If you make a movie of that, there's going to be people that be like, oh, that's what these people are. That's what I've seen. I've seen a man in black. And then they, they just run with it because that's, you know, that's what, I hate to say it, the human mind will do. Yeah. Especially if they see something that they just kind of they just tries to connect yeah the two pieces and make sense of something. You know, it's when you take somebody that has a, a ghost sighting, is it just their mind trying to figure out what's going on, and so in their their brain figured out what's the best way to connect this object that I don't understand. Well, that's a human body. You had now have a ghost, yeah. where it's not a ghost; it's just a light. And there's trick. there's a thing. I mean, you you got like a popcorn ceiling. Have you ever laid there? Oh yeah, and, dude. and like see faces in it. Yeah, yeah. I've so, done mushrooms and, enough where that that's <laughs> like <laughs> that's that's one where you know if you've taken somebody that's like done like hallucinogen. They can sit there and probably understand that where a normal person would be like, what is going on? Like, Well, I mean, there's times where I'm at home and, you know, mind you, I'm 100% sober. I'm laying there and just looking up and I can make faces. Yeah. And, and that's a that's a trick of the mind. Yeah. I forgot what they call it, but, you know, it's it's like you legit can look at any object and it just you can see a face in your, it or well, some kind of feature. Your, your brain will automatically take an object that it, cannot figure out and if there's some type of resemblance with something we'll make it into an object and that's the main reason why a lot of like ghost uh, paranormal stuff will kind of get ruled out because it's a trick of the yeah because you might see a shadow that is a legit shadow but your brain is trying to make it into something that it understands yeah um it's the same reason why if you see a picture of, say, we take and we slightly Photoshop something weird with the face, you might not know about art and or anatomy, but you can look at it and the human brain says there's something wrong with that. A um, good example was uh, Superman. His mouth. Mm-hmm. And the CG that they did. Well, the CG was bad on it, but... It's not natural, and that's why so many people were like, what the heck? And all they were trying to do was uh, cover up because he couldn't shave his mustache for another movie, and so they were trying to cover it up. Well, the CG was bad, and your mind knows subconsciously enough that that is not how a mouth moves, and yeah. It's it's all the the same kind of thing. 
to where like yeah the popcorn you can look at it even now I can like pick out like the stuff or my mind will make it kind of move and swirl and stuff like that um so you think these are just like coincidental meetings of different people and the other people are like oh hey look it's I, you know, men in black or I mean if if you're like a scientist and you're working on something and somebody shows up and tells you you have to stop that's kind of sketch that yeah that right there is I mean you really it's a 50-50 you continue on and hope you don't die or disappear which if you disappeared you probably died you met a man in black yeah um, or it was all just a, a fluke somehow See, my thing, like, I can see how it could be, like, people thinking it's that, but at the same time, it's, like, it's always when it's something having to do with either UFOs or, you know, aliens, Mm -hmm. and there's always a threat. Like, it's not like somebody's like, oh, hey, you should, like, no, they threaten you some way, shape, or form. That would kind of make sense, though. I mean, would you stop doing something someone's like, hey, bud? Yeah, you can't work on this. Well, anymore. no, but <laughs> I'm not talking about he's going to come give you a hug and be like, hey, listen, dude. Like, hey, no, I'm talking about like, like, it's not like they just come and be like, hey, you know, I'm such and such. You need to stop. Like, no, they're like, hey, if you don't stop this, like, we're going to kill you. Yeah. Or we're going to take your family out. Like, it's not. But honestly, like I said, I, I think if it was any other way, people wouldn't stop. They'd be like, oh, whatever. Like, I don't shit. know you, dude. Right, where if you you had something where all of a sudden a penny just disappeared into another plane, and he says, your heart can do that too because it's already been done to this person, which we know you know that case. You better stop. They're, you're probably going to be like, okay. Like, oh, okay. Like, I got you. I'm not, I'm not going to mess around with that. I don't know. It's I've never met one. <laughs> I don't want to meet one. Honestly, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to search out for... A men in black society, if there is one. Uh, I hope they don't come knocking on my door saying, hey, you got to stop Alien Mondays. Like, yeah, dude. That would be kind of shitty. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> I, we just take stuff we hear and say, you know, just kind of talk about it. And we're like, hey, what about this? But, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think there's a men in black? Do you know anybody has any stories about a men in black? Or have you ever been a part of Men in Black, and if you have, do you really want to tell us? I don't want to know. <laughs> Who knows? I kind of want to know. But, I mean, um, just don't send it to my door, man. <laughs> yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, is there a Men in Black? I don't know. Uh, hit us up with the stories, guys. What do you guys think? And with that... I think we're done here, dude. All right. Uh, you thank you for there. coming. See you next time.